Hey YouTube, um, today was a really awesome day for me, um, it was really nice outside, got to go a lot of places, uh, meet a lot of people, see a lot of things, the birds were chirping out of my window, I mean it was, it was really nice today and I felt really motivated to do something, um, especially on YouTube, so I decided to push out another tutorial because I did not feel like I was making enough of them, so prepare to see a lot of tutorials from me in the future. Um, so today, or tonight, um, I'm going to be making very simple, basic, independent um, four-wheel suspension. Um, basically, each wheel moves independently of each other, and you have just two-wheel steering actuated by thrusters. Um, you know, decent ride height. Let's see. Yeah, decent ride height. Um, decent springiness, but not too much to where you'd normally be, you know, puking your guts out. Um, it's pretty light, not very heavy, so we'll just set that over here and I will show you how to build this. So, couple things you're going to need. First, you need to be building in a certain direction. That direction, um, for this suspension at least, the ball socket settings I'm going to show you, um, are all relative to whichever direction you spawned looking at. So in this map, you spawn over here. This is a GM XS construct. You can download it at garysmod.org or some other place. Um, in this map you spawn looking this way. So you need to build relative to that. You need to build this suspension so that the wheels are facing outward that direction. So, now that I have that out of the way, because I told myself I was going to tell you before I built anything, uh, we need a base prop and some wheels. So as far as the base prop goes, you can use pretty much anything that's flat and uh, decently narrow sort of car shaped. I use this 1x3 plate. I sometimes use it for long, but for this will be, you know, 1x3. That'll work. So we get that. Uh, basic building practice, um, it's always good to make things weigh 50,000. That came from back when we used Advanced Duplicator for everything. Um, now we have TB's Duplicator, which I'll include an SVN link in the in the um, description in case any uh, anybody out there doesn't have it. And I think there's a Gary's Mod.org download. I guess I'll throw that in there too. Um, so always use that instead of advanced duplicator unless it's some silly little thing that doesn't have too many moving constraints. Um, anyway, back when we had advanced duplicator and that's all we had, um, it tended to like higher weights. So making everything weigh 50,000 seemed to strengthen stuff back in advanced duplicator and I just got used to doing that so now I do that anyway. So after we did that, now we're going to need some road wheels. Um, for this tutorial, we'll use these uh, size 35 small race wheels, and they're just narrower than the normal race wheels, and I just like the look of them. So, we need four of them. Just use the stacker really quick, uh, and make them weigh 50,000. So, now we need to place them um, in a place next to the chassis, or the, the base prop, it isn't a chassis yet. Um, so get out your easy precision tool and go to um, option 3, move first prop to second. We do not want an offset amount and you don't have to have rotate target on but you can. It doesn't matter. So we want to click on the center of one side or the other of the wheel and then just sort of anywhere towards the end but make sure that you know the position that you did. Um, and we just want to do that for each wheel. So they're just placed next to the uh, base prop that we chose. So, once we got that, um, I do not want to work with this right height, I want it quite a bit higher. So I'm going to nudge it up, oh, 100%. So, how we do that, we get out easy precision, or we keep it out. Um, this, the 1 through 9 number settings don't matter. I'm going to go up here to nudge amount. So, we set nudge amount to 100, and then we click the nudge as percent of prop width. Uh, make sure that that's checked, and look at the top face of the base, and then you want to hit the R key. So that moves it up 100% of its own width. Um, so that's that looks fine. So now we can start uh, making the ropes. So get out your rope tool, and we want no force limit, no add length, and the rope width and type you can choose. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, and then you want to check rigid, so that they are rigid ropes. They're not all floppy and nasty, because that just won't work. So, we click on the um, corner of the base prop, 
and then we're going to right click on the middle of the opposite wheel um, which creates the rope and then um, makes it so that you don't have to click again if you want to make another rope to that point. So then we're going to come back out here and then we're going to click, uh, left click again here. So what we've done, we have made a V of ropes um, to this drive wheel and we want to do that for each wheel the exact same or you know close to the exact same. Because we do not want unbalanced suspension, that would not be pretty at all. One more to do. There. And there. So, now that we got that, uh, let's see. Uh, we're still going to want the rope tool out. And all the settings should be, you know, the same, except now we're going to uncheck rigid. We want a non rigid rope. And we're going to click from the center of the wheel up to the top of the base plate. And basically, that will create a suspension limiter which will control um, and limit the movement of the wheel up and down so that it stops at a certain point. Um, for this suspension it is pretty much necessary. I don't really know of any other way to keep the wheel stable, but it just seems when you have a suspension limiter the wheels are not... Um, when you don't have a suspension limiter the wheels get all floppy and flop over in turns and well all the time. So it's always just, eh, just throw in the limiter there. It doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, so now that we're this far, we're going to need two more props. And those props are in the useful and explosive PHX props. Um, they are the 075 plate, which looks like this. And then we want the um, 025 plate, uh, the three length, like this. Um, and this is not true for every base. You want it as long as your base is. And since I'm using a base that is 3 PHX units long, I have to use this, which is also 3 PHX units long. So, as I said earlier, we just make them both weigh 50,000, and we're good to go. So, get out your easy precision tool. And option 3 again, no offset. Um, check rotate. And then we want to click on the very center of it to the very center of the bottom of the base plate so that it is in line with the um, with the base plate that you're using. And this is going to act as our um, steering slave. Basically this will control the um, lateral angle of our turning wheels. Um, we will mount the thrusters onto this to get the vehicle to turn correctly. Um, so once we got that, <clears throat> we will go back up to axis center and we want force limit zero, torque limit zero, rotation friction zero, and none of the options checked. So we are going to click on the very bottom of the slave, and then to the very bottom of the base plate. There's so now there's an axis between there. Now we want to get our advanced ball socket out, and I'm using a setting called three axis lock, which is basically um, minimum of negative 0.1 and a maximum of 0.1 for all the axes, and then the um, axis friction for all of them are zero, free movement is on and no collide is on. So after you have those settings, uh, we want the Z minimum and maximum to be respectively negative 35 and 35 degrees. This is going to limit the turning of the slave and thus the wheels 35 degrees in either direction. Now you can make this more or you can make this less, but I find that 35 is typically good. You don't get a lot of oversteer um, with 35 because, you know, grip in Gary's Mod isn't the greatest. So once you have that, we're just going to click on the slave and click on the body. So now we're going to place the other prop. Uh, get out your easy precision. We just want to move it. Uh, so click on the center of it to the center of the top of the base plate so that it is in line with the base plate. Okay, now we're going to go up to our nudge amount and let's type in 50. And then we do not want nudges percent on. We want to move it 50 Gary's Mod unit length units. So just on the um, just when you're looking at the top face of the new um, prop that we've set, just press R, and now it's moved up here. So that's where we want it. So get out your. Um,